Hi, I'm Phil Monkhouse. It's the fourth week I'm going over uh, the real estate market in Sugarland, Missouri City, Richmond, and Full Shear. Just checking in to see how the virus is affecting things. Um, so in Fort Bend County, um, good thing for real estate anyway, I guess, is the uh, we're allowed to show homes again in um, Fort Bend County. It's still kind of, I think, um, it'd be better if uh, the listing or the agent just went in if it's an occupied home and did like a FaceTime tour, but um, we're allowed to show homes legally, I guess you could say. Um, so anyway, uh, in Sugarland, there's 603 active homes right now. That's only down six from last week and down seven from four weeks ago. So no change there. Pending, 140, which is down eight from last week. And that's down 50 from four weeks ago. So that's definitely an indication that uh, things are slowing down. Um, yeah, less homes going under contract, which would be to be expected for sure, considering the environment. And the number of sold homes that closed last week in Sugarland, 23, that's down five from the week before and also down five from four weeks ago. So not a huge drop off there, but obviously if left homes are going under contract, then we're gonna see less homes um, actually closing. So Missouri City, 487 active homes. Uh, that's actually up three from a week ago and down 14. Um, from four weeks ago, so not a big change. Pending, uh, 210 under contract. That's down 16, 16 from the week before and 51 from four weeks ago. So same thing as Sugarland. Uh, pretty big drop in homes going under contract. And then sold, uh, there were 16 sold last week. That's down 11 from the week before and down seven from four weeks ago. So definitely a drop off. We'll see if that carries on next week. Uh, Richmond, 856 homes active. That's down six uh, from last week and it's actually up 28 from uh, four weeks ago. Um, pending, 442, that's up four from last week, which is good, but that's down 76 from four weeks ago. That's a big, big drop as well. Um, sold, um, 30, it's down 30 from, um, Oh, sorry, there's actually 30 closings in Richmond last week, but that's down 35 from the previous week and down 14 from, from four weeks ago. The only reason I can see the previous week being so, so much higher would be um, a lot of new construction, obviously, in Richmond and maybe the builders. They're always big on end of quarter, clearing out inventory before end of quarter, so maybe there's a lot of closings before the end of first quarter. That's the only thing I can come up with with that. Um, now, full shear, uh, 335 active homes. That's down 11 uh, from the previous week and down five from four weeks ago. Uh, pending is at 135, down five from last week and down 16 from um, down 16 from four weeks ago. So really not much change there. Slow down slightly, but not really not much to uh, comment on. And then the number of sold homes, nine. Um, that's down seven from last week and down four from four weeks ago. So yeah, slow down there for sure. Um, but uh, overall, full sure seems to be holding up okay. We'll just have to see how next week compares to all that. Thanks for watching. Bye.